What's up, weirdos? I was about to say welcome to another angry meme review. <laughs> I mean, there's one up, but I just put it up yesterday. But that's not what we're here for today. I mean, right now, at this exact moment. We're here for it, but just not right now. As always, welcome to Angry Streams. Every time I do Angry Streams, I ask you what you want to talk about on Instagram. Give you a little poll. Hey, what are you going to do? Hit the story. What do you want to talk about? And oftentimes, it's just a whole bunch of weird sexual innuendos like talk to me about losing your virginity and or my mom or other things like that. How many is a hot dog a sandwich is one I usually get all the times. But besides those strange questions that you often send me, we also talk about military and police related, thing, related things. Last time, we talked about the four-year-old getting the bad touch on a U.S. military post and the potential for... Well, not the potential, but the... How the investigation would be carried out. How it could potentially be carried out. I guess potentially. And that got <laughs> demonetized. So, whatever. What are you going to do? Sometimes, Dems is the breaks. Habitual line crosser is on right now. You know what's funny is I was going to text him and see if he wanted to do a live together and talk about some of this shit. Oh, we got a super chat. This is the first super chat of the brand new channel. Channel David R. <laughs> David. David asks the Chiefs. A Chiefs fan popping in. How dare you? You go into the game on Sunday. Not looking forward to playing the Bills, but may the best team win. Well, the best team is the Bills. And yes, I'll be at the game. I love the football games. Sometimes it's better off being at home. Sometimes you can't be going to the games. Sunday, I'm going to the game. Potentially bringing the Merv. We'll see. Some issues happen with the Merv. Do I have a... Let, let me text him. Do I, do I have his direct number? I swear I do. I'm almost certain. Do, do, do. Let's see. Let's see. I'll shoot him a text and see if he wants to jump on. Bum, 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 bum. Contacts. Where are you? Oh, I don't. I thought I did. Oh, I just—I guess I must just have his Instagram. Ah, that's all right. We'll get him next week. Next week, we'll shoot him a text and see if he wants to jump on live and talk about the Houthis and stuff like that. He'll be able to give us some more context. Am I shoveling snow in the stadium? No, I'm not. You know what? If, if HBL is on... If HBL is on... Let's shoot him. <laughs> let's text him. Let's, let's, start, let's start talking in his chat. Let's do it. He is live. Love it. I didn't think we were that far ahead. I really didn't. Good for him. I'm so happy because we he's get briefed. Live Semi regularly now. that somebody else's shit is better than ours. And we've been always finding out they're lying. He's right. Thank you, Michael T. Oh, Michael. Such a nice guy. Happy birthday. Love your work. Keep or love your videos. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you so much, Juice. Look at him. What a happy guy. What is my favorite aircraft voice? Buff. I love the buff voice. It comes so naturally. Like after I practiced it for a while, I can switch over to the buff anytime can I, that I can want. I do All it? I really gotta do is get chat. myself kinda 
kind of raspy and then I just I use more of the I bring the bottom lip up and I kind of talk with just the top and I, I leave it hung over my mouth and it just happens so fucking easy and I can turn around and be like hey kid get your fucking ass over here stop playing with yourself inside the hangar we see you and it just it happens very naturally your brothers invite you to do it <laughs> What's your favorite aircraft? I don't have your number. What is not in the Geneva Conventions? I know what's not there. 50 fat floored men with Mossberg. <laughs> Maybe next time. You know you're not wrong. You know what's crazy? Is so I made that video, I don't know, a don't couple weeks my ago shit on explaining screen. like ah. that the Canadians had bombed those refugee camps. And some guy who's trying to I hate saying steal clout, but he's trying to disprove me to make himself seem more important. The problem is I didn't go on Google and find that information. And this is the thing. This is why that information is reliable to me. Tell me why that information is reliable, yes. well, buddy. How is that documentary reliable? Okay. They were interviewing one of the Canadian pilots that did it. What do you know? What interviewing those Canadian pilots. I know what's not in their 50 <laughs> fat Florida man with F. Musburg. Stories by the fireside with Buff. 20 minutes. The handsome fellow. Angry Cops is here? I am here. Angry I'm watching strings? you. Oh, shit! Look at him. He's so happy. Oh, yeah. Dude, you have my number. I thought I had your number. I will text you. I don't. Angry. I, don't. I didn't even see you, bro. Holy no, shit. That's all right. That's all right, brother. Uh, Just yeah, watching I, you I do your thing. I don't even know how to dual stream on YouTube, bro. So I really have no idea. Oh, it's all right. Well, we'd have to. We'll figure it out. Look at him with his sideways Angry thing. streams in chat. Let's give him some horns, guys. Don't give me any horns. You're already horned up. Duel of the live streams? My missus just texted me that you were you were in chat. I was trying to stay on top of everything. Some systems are better than us. Well, time to up the budget. <laughs> Let's figure it out. All right, brother. I'll see you next week. I just wanted to jump in and say hi. I thought. Let me Let me tell see. you that you're handsome. Hey, brother. I was gonna invite you to do a live stream today, but I don't have your number. Maybe next time. My bad, bro. Hold on. I feel so bad now. Disney is the second largest buyer of explosives in the world. Yes, more than other countries. There you go. I just texted you. Oh, sweet. All right. Hey, just, Angry Strings. Yeah, we'll slide back. Who this? I didn't think it was him. All right. We'll go start hey, talking about so the hoodies. Here, by the way. Another shenanigans. Goodbye, Coffee, handsome. Coffee, it's 1 a.m. Well, Marlicky, uh, it's time to go run. My handsome man. My handsome, handsome man. Which... Would you like to share a where there's original? Got a little bit of a wine crosser. What a good guy. All right, let's 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 check out two things. All right, who of these get a hair strike, an air strike by U.S. and British forces? Who this is? Analyst of the latest UK. So basically, what I understand is, is that um, the who is the obviously for the past like forever. Davy, what's up, man? I should bring back Jack Mandeville and let the madness ensue. Someone from Delta Two Three Nine uploaded my BCT video. Have I seen it yet? I mean, I know that I have. I've seen. I think I reacted to it, didn't I? I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. All right, uh, the Houthis. So, within the past week, the Houthis have been, well, more than the past week, have been attacking, you know, ships that are going to Israel and anybody that's supporting Israel to include United States uh, civilian ships. And the United States has put in a, a MU, a Marine Expeditionary, What does the W stand for? That's Marine Expeditionary Forces, but it's a MU. What's the W stand for? Ah, whatever. So the United States put through, put a MU in, and the USS Eisenhower, I think it was, the aircraft carrier, to try and be like, hey, listen, don't do that. And one of the ships that they put into the Arabian Gulf was a ship that specifically is supposed to take down 
uh, anti-aircraft missiles, right? We're ground, surface to water missiles, surface to ship missiles. Ah, gosh, Navy, help me out here. It's one of those things. Basically, a, a missile that's fired from ground and then is meant to strike a naval vessel. And they were also taking down drones and such. So a couple of these things happened where the Houthi, were, the ships show up. They're like, hey, Houthis, stop messing around in Yemen. Stop blowing up, you know, or attacking civilian ships. And the Houthis were like, nah, we're not. So they sent a couple more, you know, drones and a couple missiles. And the United States ship, you know, shot them down. And now the United States was like, hey, you know, over the over this past week, most recently this past week, the United States, the UK, this whole, you know, group of, this coalition of different countries has said, okay, cool, we're going to start doing targeted strikes on some of these Houthi encampments to be like, hey, don't do that. Now, I don't know everything about the airstrikes. I only know that they happened in Yemen, you know, going against the Houthis. I don't know exactly what they were striking. I don't know where they were hitting. I don't know the depths of the damage that was dealt. And that's that. View, Marine Expeditionary Unit. Thanks, Bill. Why did I think it was a W? It was, it's M E U right? because Mew, Mew, M E W is is a Pokemon. <laughs> it's a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> there, we're sending Pokemon. All right, we're sending Marine Pokemon to go take out the Houthis. And if you don't think that's fucking scary, it is. Right? What's what is that? You, 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 the U.S. government like corporation that makes all of our weird weapons. It starts with a D. It's not Dartmouth. That's a college. Dap, dap, dip, dap. Oh, man. Dip, dap, a Dip, 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 dip. Oh, it starts with a D and I'm blanking on it again. My, my TBI just keeps DARPA. Thank you. Chat, where would I be without you? DARPA, right? So DARPA. DARPA is the, I don't know, is DARPA government? Or is DARPA a privatized company that the government relies on for military, I would say, invention? Now I need to look this up. See, look at this. We're getting sidetracked, but that's okay. What is DARPA? Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Defense scientists. So is it is it actually part of the Department of Defense? It sounds like it is. Defense Advanced Research about us. Tell me more about DARPA. 60 years, held one single mission, made pivotal investments, breakthrough technologies, and national, for, for national security. It's government and private. That's probably why it does so well. You can't, if it was just government, it'd take forever to get shit done. And there'd be so much waste of money. You need to have some pri uh, privatized entity when it comes to this. Otherwise, you, won't, you wouldn't be able to fire people that are useless. And you probably wouldn't be able to get things expedited or done quickly. Yeah, DuPont makes plastics. I knew it wasn't DuPont, but it was close. DARPA. What are you going to do? DARPA is government. Hmm, can't read chat. I am reading chat. Dynacorp. <laughs> it's not Dynacorp. But yeah, we. what if DARPA made Pokemon? Follow me down this rabbit hole. What if DARPA... Made Pokemon real. Like, they were like, screw it. Let's, let's Spider-Man this shit. Let's get a rat. Let's spray paint it yellow. Let's just start shocking it. Or, like, how, how, how people would take, or scientists would take bioluminescence and put it into other things. You'd have, like, worms that would glow or rodents that would glow at night. Bioluminescence being the how animals, biological creatures, can produce light. And if you see, in the sea, there's like, uh, there's algae that will glow green or bright blue uh, during some things. Let's see, hold on, let's, bioluminescent algae. Bio, I can't spell. Bioluminescent algae, boom, here we go. So yeah, so there's algae that does it. I believe that there's 
I, I don't believe. I know that there are other animals that do it, not just algae, which is, what, like, microscopic? But anywho, if they took bioluminescence, but instead of it being bioluminescence, they took what an electric eel can do and they put it into a rat. So now you've got a, not only a glow-in-the-dark rat with bioluminescence, now you've got a, bio, uh, a glow-in-the-dark rat with the power of an electric eel that can shock you. But somehow, we just give that like a supercharged battery and then I'm like, shock things. And then it's just like, boom, I choose you. Ratata. You know, hyperfang, go. Anywho, that's my that's my quick spiel. Rabbit holes upon rabbit holes. Yes, I don't know. Hey, man, this is this is our live stream. This is our live stream. It's not my live stream, right? We're following each other. Originally talking about the Houthis, now we're talking about if you could actually make a real Pikachu using DARPA bioluminescence and the same science that follows bioluminescence and transferring it to other animals with electricity. China's going to be one with the Pokemon. China's not going to be the ones with the Pokemon because they're absolutely screwed. They've got nuclear... Their nuclear missiles are filled with water and not fuel. Which, by the way, that's coming out tomorrow in the video tomorrow. I talk a little bit about that. Talk about China. Oh, I need to make like a quick button that just has Donald Trump saying, China. China's going to come out with the Pokemon, but Japan's going to sue them for copyright if only I don't know if you know this China and Japan they do not get along yes Devin I unlocked the super chat it took like a month and but luckily YouTube said I was cool enough all right back on track we're going to the Houthis bioluminescent Houthis were tried but they came out as pink mist Interesting. I mean, I'm sure during the explosion, they gave off a bright light. Meanwhile, in yet another message to Iran and Iranian-backed groups in the Middle East and the Red Sea, the U.S. has carried out another round of airstrikes on more Houthi-controlled sites in Yemen. It happened early yesterday morning. The U.S. says those sites were linked to recent attacks on commercial vessels in the Red Sea. It comes just one day after the U.S. and the U.K. launched more than 70 airstrikes against Houthi military sites. That was on Friday. U.S. forces say they were able to knock out radar and air defense systems. A newly released video shows Houthi rebels promising to retaliate for those strikes. Somebody on backed rebels began attacking commercial ships in the Red Sea. <laughs> They're strikes. like, hold on, wait, wait, the wait, wait, wait. Video shows Houthi rebels promising to retaliate for those. Strikes. Boom. They just took, <laughs> they just took one of their own trucks and put an, uh, an Israeli flag on it. And we're like, this will show them. This will show them that we mean business. Now watch this. We're going to blow it up. Strikes. The you almost missed it. Ron back to like. Uh, oh, Welcome what the fuck? everybody what? to what? another. Yeah, Airstrike yeah. ferry site was on Friday. Forces say they knock out rare defense. A new shows who the... rebels promising to retaliate for those. Strikes. Boom! It like it misses whatever it misses and it blows up and detonates right here. And the thing splits apart so fast that one of the things is just barely put together. Strikes. Like, the, Iran the whole rebels thing fell apart. Oh, the whole thing fell apart. Did you see that? Even the hood fell off. What a load of shit. This began attacking commercial ships. Iran backed rebels Look at began that. retaliate for those. All right, watch, watch. The hood like falls off. This flies sideways. This isn't even a real truck. Strikes. Boom. Look, like <laughs> all of it fell apart. <laughs> These are like, we're going to blow you up, man. You better watch out. And their video is them missing. <laughs> the Israeli truck and it not even being a real truck. It's just a bunch of boards put together and everything's just falling apart. Just watch it fall apart real quick. Retaliate for those strikes. 
just disintegrates. Everything falls and collapses on itself. See when the war between Israel and Hamas. You know what? We get to see uh, Houthi video. In response to U.S. airstrikes. Missile attack. No, 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 no. There's like. Where is it? They like made. Um, is this a six days ago? Is this the one? They made a video. And it's what that news station was playing. And in it, there is. There's them like shooting mortars. This guy's such a chode. Look at how just like. You ever just see somebody who takes way too much time trying to look pretty? Like he doesn't look handsome. He doesn't look like a man. He just looks like some weird wax doll standing there. It, like Im immaculately manicured. And he's got this massive beak and this five o'clock shadow. But he looks like he was molded out of clay. He just, it like there's a sheen, like, like he's almost like a robot. He's a real person. I'm not saying that he's a robot, conspiracy theory. But it just, he just looks like he's never done a day of hard work in his life. He's like, we are, uh, we are very upset with the, the airstrikes. We, uh, we did not approve of them. Oh, man, where is that video? Somebody sent it to me on Instagram. I've got so many. Uh, I could feel it. I don't know. Maybe maybe they have it in like Houthis. But anywho, the video that they show Houthis Galaxy? What are we talking about here? World reacts to U.S. and U.K. attacks in Houthi. Protesters in Yemen. But they show these guys make shooting a mortar off. And it's just... That is the most horribly written, horribly drawn political cartoon I've ever seen. It looks like it was written by a five-year-old. But it shows them shooting off a mortar, and it's absolutely hysterical. Oh, here we go. Houthis do military exercises after the attack. I, these games are so weird. Houthis plays the ASI theme song. Who are they? Who, 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 who? Where is it? Where is it? Is it here? There it is. Here it is. Okay, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right. The United Nations said the world body has ex was extremely worried about escalation of U.S. Oh, no. This is not what they're saying. Wait for it. All right. See, this is a guy that sucks. Like, this guy is opposite than clean-shaven, well-manicured man. This guy's out in the middle of a freaking desert with some shitty microphone and a bunch of flags. And he's like, this is, this is what we're doing, man. We're ready. This is where This is where we belong. I'm cracking it in here. We're doing some stuff. This guy's off with his little fist pumps. Hold on, wait for it. Just some reason want dozens of airstrikes across the Yemen over in retaliation. We already know that. We want to see our we want to see our mortar guy. Come on, mortar guy. Boom. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can't make this large. No, 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 let's get, we want to see your guy, hold on a second. Ah, hold on. Oh, we're missing him, we're missing him, we're missing him. All right, hold on, I can't make it full screen.
I guess that's good enough. I guess we're gonna have to deal with this. Is it like frozen now? Here we go, here we go. Okay. I want everybody to do your best, okay? And focus on this guy right here. This guy on the right that's at the tube, okay? He's at the tube on the right. He's got the big uh, sackcloth camouflage ghillie suit thing going on, right? Just watch him. Get ready for it. <laughs> what a fucking pussy. <laughs> Look at this dude. We gotta watch it again. We gotta watch it again. Hold on. We can go back. We gotta go back. Come on. Give me all the Allahu Akbar's, baby. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh man, he's just so scared of his own shadow. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm crying. Oh gosh. What are they doing? They're just driving around, just like shooting. Are they shooting at each other with actual bullets or shooting over top of them? Look, we, we, made the, uh, we made the place with sheets and rope, and now we are going to try to go and shoot it. I guess that's their compound. I mean, hey, listen, you gotta do, you know, building clearing. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Room to room. But I'm not so worried when this guy shows up and drops anything. <laughs> Dude, I can't get enough of it. This is the best piece of propaganda I've ever seen. Oh my god, I should do a skit on this. Oh man, just him scared shitless, making his brownie wownies even more brown as he just. Oh my gosh. This guy's this guy in the middle is all pissed off. He's knife handing other people. He's like, why don't you go over here? Go over this way. What the fuck's wrong with you? Why aren't you shooting? And then this guy's Oh my god. Oh These are the people that we're supposed to be afraid of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these, these people, these are the ones we're supposed to be afraid of, right? The guys, the guys that are dropping mortars into mortar tubes. <laughs> oh man. I mean, honestly, I think that says it all, doesn't it? Like what more do we need to go over? We bomb the shit out of them and their response to the United States and the UK bombing them after they attacked our ships not not just naval ships right civilian ships and our actual navy that is they're like you know you know we'll scare the shit out of them we will blow up all of the things you know we and then we'll drop mortars and when we will go oh it's so scary but we're men and so you know it's scary and he runs away he still does it and so he is strong and they make us look good this is this is good the la Oh my gosh. Hysterical. These absolute chodes. They show it again? Oh, they show it again. It was so good. It was so good, they decided to show it again. There's two times they show this guy. Two times! They're like, oh yeah, by the way, this is so great. Like, this is so great, we're gonna do it again. Boink! Ooh. Nice big recoilless rifle right there. 
blew his pants right off. Look at that. This is why people say backblast area clear. For those of you that don't know what's going on, yet Mahmoud's getting ready to restock. Mahmoud Military Menagerie. Do you want to bake and do you want to shoot? Well, we have an easy back oven here that can make a dozen loaves of bread and also act as a mortar tube. You can make a 15 loaves in this here massive tube, but you can also put in an 88 millimeter mortar. Bread incoming. Oh my gosh. Aloha snack bar. I forget what my train of thought was. Just this this goofy little idiot. Oh, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, this is very good. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, brother, you know, sometimes when, I, when I'm watching them Hootleys just get, you know, get some freaking stuff together. And I'm watching them, like, try to fire off some things to try and come in and attack us. And I get really upset. Sometimes I come and look at this Vigi right here. And that just lets me know that, you know what, no matter what they do, I'm safe. Because they're out here playing with squirt guns and we here got real rifles. Oh, it's on backblast area clear. That's right. Backblast area clear. All right, so backblast. For those of you that don't know, this is a recoilless rifle. All right. Let's say that it, we're just going to say, keep it simple. It's a rocket, right? There's a rocket inside of a tool. Well, how does a rocket go? Well, it has propellant, right? It, it has an ignition. It propels itself forward. So it's expelling gas or, you know, if a rocket would be fuel, there's fuel lighting off that creates thrust and it pushes forward. Well, if you ever stood behind a jet engine, that thrust, you know, to propel that vehicle forward is pushing air back, right? So a back blast of pressure. Well, the same thing with these rockets, right? They're hollow. They're a tube on the inside, but you set, you know, the ammunition somewhere in the tube and then there's ignition. You pull the trigger, it ignites. It sends that back blast out, which then pushes that round forward. And there's some crap back here, but it looks like he blows his pants off. <laughs> just, all that shit's just jacked up. All of his crap is just jacked up. What happened to, what happened to my... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we're going to shoot the rifle. Oh, what happened to my bed? Oh, fuck. What happened to my bed? Oh, shit. Wait a second. Okay, okay. We're aiming the fire. Oh, fuck. All my shit behind me. It is the gun now. And one more time. Ah, oh, my bed. All oh, my shit. It's just gone. I need to make a video on this. I need to make... I need to make those two cuts and just act like I'm a guy as a part of this unit that is one like we're coming to the biggest fighting force you know in, in Yemen this guy these guys are badass why is that guy crying every time he drops a mortar in the mortar tube <laughs> that's sensitive Mahmoud that's 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 sensitive Mohammed that's sensitive Mo that that's sensitive Mo sensitive Mo is very sensitive he is battle ready but he's just he's very sensitive so he hears loud noises he knows the boom is coming. He's a little afraid, but he'll be back. He'll do it like three more times. He'll be fine. He's just got to warm up. And then you've got like these two bumbling idiots that are like, hey man, you think we should put like this stuff like to the side of the recoilless rocket? No, 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 no. You'll be fine. I don't know. Are you sure? Like, you kept saying about something about a back blast. Like, like an explosion, but behind us. Nah, man. No. Nah, you're good. There's. This... What do you mean behind us? The round's going this way. We got to point in the right direction. Oh yeah, man. You're right. Yeah, you're totally right. Boom! Shit's gone. Ah! Man! My hygiene kit was in there. Sorry. It just... Ugh. The Houthis. Gosh, this, this just brought me so much joy. Watching these bumbling idiots just blow their shit apart. Hold on, let's... I found out how to go frame by frame from you guys last time. And... Boom. There goes all of his shit. Just... There it goes. There goes his bedding. There goes his mattress. 
Even his hat's like getting like blown around. There's his cardboard box so his knees don't hurt, so he's not laying directly on the rocks over there. Oh, Private Potato joins the Houthis. Guys, I don't think that we should have the rocket right in front of all of our shit. What? <laughs> He's going to blow away all of our shit! <laughs> all my stuff! All my stuff! It went into the sky! Oh, God. Houthi Private Potato got me. Yeah, you're welcome. Benny Hill theme plays in the background. Yeah. Let's do that. Hold on. Now I want to watch that at Santa. And. Uh, I know that wasn't the Benny Hill theme song, but, you know, it was the circus. And this is the circus. Let's watch more of these Houthi shammers. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's just watch Houthi training. Houthi training. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. No! This the times. The times put it right there. The guy loading the mortar in. And he's just like, I'm super badass. And the fucked up fake truck. They've got them both in there. Can you imagine them all just like lying around and talking about that fake truck too? Well, hey man, do you think they're going to notice that this is just some empty like Toyota truck pieces that we set up on top of two by fours? Nah, man, no, nobody will notice. No. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, like, like they're going to blow it up and then it's going to blow up. They're just going to see a car blow up. Nobody's going to tell. Okay. All right. And then the thing just falls apart. Just like there's the explosion and then everything just leans over and collapses and separates because it was never attached to begin with. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. I need to like this because I think I am going to make a video on it. Where is this? Let me just quickly put a like on there. That way I can track it. Here goes with the Allah. Look at this. Look at this. Just watch. Boom. Just the, look. Everything just separated and fell apart. It's not even attached. It's not real. I, like, I'm trying to get close to the screen. Like even now, you can see like the hood isn't like aligned properly, and that the bed is like off to this way a little bit. It's on like the upper side, and then when it detonates, you see just everything just blah, 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 just fall apart. Like look, you saw everything lifted and then just shifted over. That's not what happens when something explodes next to a vehicle. And, like, by the way, we already talked about it. They miss it. They hit it, like, right here. I don't know if there is an explosive device there or if that's, like... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So, there's the munition. The munition, I can barely see it. You see that little gray blob just to the right? There we go. Of the truck. So, there. It's dropping a mortar. Down it goes. They miss it. They miss the truck. It detonates. Look at that. Like two, three feet before to the right of the truck. Wait, did it just, did something else detonate? So there's the dot. And yet there's an explosion underneath the truck. The mortar hasn't even landed yet. They knew they were going to miss it. Dude, this is great. I'm actually love. I'm loving breaking this shit down right now. Because this is such a shitty psyop. So one, this is what we found out so far about the Houthi lying bullshit training camp and their video, right? We found out one, this is not a real truck. It's just some random like put together pieces of the truck, like the hood and a door and a cab that's just on some, you know, cinder blocks, right? Like the old school movies where you drive through the hood and then people would just like take all their tires and the car would be sitting on cinder blocks. That's what this is. Except there's no actual car. It's not attached to anything. There's no uh, like chassis or frame. It's just random car parts just sitting on top of stuff, 
not connected whatsoever. So we learned that. That's one. That's one thing that we've learned from these Houthis so far. One. Two. Oh, shit. No, I... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. Two. So here's the mortar. Like, they drop a mortar around. They missed the truck in the training video of them showing how amazing and good their military is. With a drone, probably sighted in, they drop a munition and they miss the truck. And here's the fun new thing that we've just discovered. All right, so you see the little dark dot to the right of the truck. It's small, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. It hasn't hit yet. It hasn't hit yet. You still see it. You still see it. It's, it's just a little bit smaller. There's a little... Wait. Boom. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on one gosh dang second. How is there the shadow of the mortar round and yet that back tire exploded? And even more so, you see that little tuft of dirt to the right and the rear end of the truck? Well, that looks like it could be detonation cord or like a, a lit light cord. Use the zoom feature. Hold on. Shit, where's my zoom feature? How do I use the zoom feature? What's the zoom feature? No, it's not tan and right. They don't they can't hit the backside of a barn. What's the zoom feature? Somebody tell me what the zoom feature is. So they've got an explosion sitting there. Control mouse and wheel. Are you sure? Enhanced airburst? No, it's not an airburst. It's still there. You can still see it. Settings on the gear icon. I got nothing. Playback normal. That ain't it. Press your nose against the screen, I think. That's what I do. It's the zoom, man. Hold on. Let's... If I can... I think I can make this. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Uh, I gotta, like, change the screens. I gotta do some weird shit. Control and scroll for realsies? Oh, sweet. Sweet mother of mercy. Okay. Now I need to just get the bottom. Oh, this is so much fun. Look at us learning. All right. All right, children. We're going to check this out now. Check this out now. Funk show. Okay. So, right there. See this dot? That's the mortar going down. We know this, right? We're aware of this. Mortar going down. Down, 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 down. We can see it. Follow that gray dot. Follow the gray dot. Follow the gray dot. Follow the gray dot. Still there. Gray dot's still there. Has not made impact. And here's the fun part. You see how there's like that little, like that, it looks like a rock behind the truck? Watch it. Trolling plus? Sweet. All right, so we've got the little black dot. We've got that. We got that little rock like thing behind the truck. We still see the black dot. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, so the black dot's still there. You can actually see the shadow of the mortar. Mortar hasn't exploded yet. And yet, somehow. The back tire has. So, three things we've learned, right? One, not a real truck, just a bunch of random pirates that they put there to, and put the Israeli flag on it. So, sad. Two, you missed your target. Three, they knew they were going to miss their target potentially, but they wanted to get it on camera. So, they hooked up a secondary charge just in case and said, hey man, when this thing gets close enough, just detonate the bottom of the truck. Because watch, there's the explosion from the detonation that like they, the timed fuse or whatever they did. So it's exploded. And then there's the impact and the explosion of the mortar, right? Boom. You can see the mortar. It hasn't struck the ground yet. And yet there's an explosion already. Oh man. This is brilliant. They pretended that they actually hit the truck, the fake truck. 
And then they made a secondary explosion just in case it was close. They're like, all right, all right, Mahmoud, I need you to time it. Watch it come down. And right when it hits the ground, try and time it and, the, and hit the explosion and make the charge go. But right when it's there, just before it hits the ground, he hits the detonation cap. Boom, goes. Gives it the charge. Blows it up so that way you can't miss it. This is great. This is fun. I might need to make a video on this. The Houthis tried to sigh up how good they are, but they, they're they horrible. So it just failed. Enhance. I feel like Donut right now when he does the police breakdowns and he's just like, my brand new piece of high quality, high value police breakdown, electronics, multimedia, etc., etc. And it's just him drawing stuff with like stick figures on Microsoft Paint. It's brilliant. That's what this is. I think I gotta make a video on this. It's just it's just low hanging fruit. It's so simple. AC war breakdowns. That's what it is. This is a war breakdown. I should change the name of this video to Houthi war breakdown or Houthi training video breakdown. You think it's the shutter speed because there's shrapnel from the explosion visible at the time of the detonation? Oh, the drink of choice today is just lemonade. I put sparkling water and lemonade Mio squirts in there. So it's like sparkly lemonade. Breaking down failed attacks and Darwin awards given on the battlefield. Special effects done by Hollywood Houthis. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, man. This made my night. This absolutely made my night. We found out that the Houthis are so... Well, we knew the Houthis were lame as shit. But this is, like, hysterically sad. This is, like, when you see those really bad Russian photoshops where it's some 18-year-old kid or some 38-year-old man, and they look gross as fuck. And they like Photoshop themselves in the middle of the red carpet with JLo and their arms around them. Let's see if I can find one. Do 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 do. That Russian Photoshop. There we go. Boom. Like, they're not... I don't know where this is, but it's not their bedroom. Totally great. This guy's definitely... This guy is the original Doctor Strange. He's Doctor Strange enough, right? This is Doctor Strange enough. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. Come on, load. Load you. Boom. That's Doctor Strange enough, right there. So you come to Russia, you have to fight six hundred men with electricity. We got we got electricity from bioluminescence, but instead of bioluminescence, we take uh, electric eel. We put it on guy, and now he is like Spider-Man enemy number one. But he's a America's enemy number one. Ah, look at that! She's totally with those cheetahs, and this guy loves mushrooms. Oh my gosh, she's got him faded up in the top right. This guy's on. He just switched his head with somebody else, I guess, and added some swords. That's a real mermaid. That is a cat girl that actually looks a lot more believable than the weird CGI cats movie that people did. And then that woman is very naturally endowed. It's not her fault that she has warped furniture around her. That's just the way that it was made. And his triceps are that big too. Ignore the straight lines on her sweater that make it look all weird. What the? F oh, yeah, what are these ads? Oh, peptides. Yeah, peptides are the best. I take peptides. This guy looks like my buddy Zach.
That's that's a that's a very nerdy Sphinx. And I mean, dude's actually in good shape, but just like with all these arms, his arms kind of look like penises. It just kind of looks like he's got like two arms and four penises growing out of his shoulders. Why would you Photoshop your head on on a fat guy with nipple clamps? Oh my God, she got rid of her chin. She got rid of so much of her chin. I don't know how all these people are. God, this is just, this is what I'm talking about here. There we go. This is the bad Photoshop. This is what the Houthis were doing. They were like Photoshopping themselves in with famous people and being like, no, this is good training. This is good number one train. We are very good at running train. We run, we run train all the time on each other. We constantly run train. Mahmoud back there, Mohammed back there, Abdal back there. We all run train on one another. We all run so many train that we are the best. We are the best at the run train. And now we are here to show you how good the Houthi run train. The Houthi run train so much on each other that when we go, we beat you up all the time because we are so good at running train on one another. Oh my god, these are all just absolutely brilliant. Oh. Where is it? Where's where's all right? Let's go. Let's look over some of our uh bum, 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 bum. Can I can I do it on here? Nope, but I don't want to delete it. View insights. Do story about this again? Nope, cancel. Alright, well I can't just scroll down and check that stuff out. So let's let's start looking at what you weirdo said you wanted to talk about here. Skew doo 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 doo. All right, what's everybody saying? Bam. Oh, God, right away. Right away, what do we talk about? Porn. No. D's. D's nuts. No. Louisiana. Louisiana or Delaware? If you had to move to one, which one and why? Oh, D.C. or Louisiana? God, I'd say D.C. Because I could just escape it and go to Virginia. I don't know if I could deal with that hot as balls Louisiana weather. I mean, maybe upper Louisiana. The northern part of Louisiana, I could do that. Maybe. Maybe. The flashlight that trashed an F-35 motor and cost $14 million. Get out of town. Somebody left a flashlight in an F-35 and it trashed the motor? Let's look that up. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. We need to text habitual line crosser this. I want to see him do his F-35 impression, his voice, and have it be like some crew member being like, oh, I left my flashlight somewhere. And then it's the F-35 trying to start up and just his engine just crunches it. A foreign object left inside an F-35 engine at Luke Air Force Base, Arizona, caused nearly $4 million in damages. A handheld flashlight was sucked into the engine's air intake during a maintenance ground run. Oh, no. Luckily, it was during idling, and it's, nobody got super jacked up. A team of three maintainers started the engine without issue before going through typical checks, including idling for five minutes to monitor for fuel leaks. It wasn't until they turned it off that anything seemed to mess. During the shutdown, one maintainer noted abnormal noises. None of the airmen were injured. A tool inventory check after installing a metering plug into the engine fuel line. Investigators determined that the maintainer's lack of adherence to standard cautionary items highlighted in the joint technical data checklist before the run contributed to their leaving the flashlight behind. They also found that complacency related to the F-35's autonomic logistics 
Autonomic? Hmm. That's a word I haven't said in a while. Autonomic. Logistics information system. Sorry, a little brain fart there. Uh, or ALIS is partly to blame. Substantial number of checklists and difficulty in accessing the correct ones causes complacency when used as reference to the required means for the report noted. Damn. Total estimate, $3.9 million. Oh. Report concluded that the inspecting maintainer failed to clear the inlet of foreign objects after completing the required inspection for an engine run after they exited the aircraft inlet. Failure to complete checklist, checklist tasks resulted in a flash up being left inside of the inlet. Oh, no. Oh, bro. That is the most anti-POB thing ever. That sucks so hard. I don't want to be a dick either, but why are you setting things on top of the aircraft? Like, I, I, would, I would just put everything on the ground. I'd be like, cool, everything's on the ground by the front tire. If you need something, it's there. I wouldn't be like, you know what I'm going to do? Just put something. Uh. I mean, I can't shit on the kid. Everybody's made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. But damn. 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 Let that be a lesson to you, children. Checklists are important. They matter. Because sometimes when you're not thinking, the checklist does the thinking for you. And then you're fine. It might be nor annoying. It might be monotonous. But checklists just... You don't even have to think. Step one. Make sure shit is where shit should be. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh oh there's, uh, there's some shit where shit's not supposed to be. Okay, so that's we got to change that and make sure that it goes to number one now. God. I know they're boring. I know they suck. That's the importance, man. Sometimes. Oh, dude. I'd be fucking pissed. If I was if I was the crew in charge of, the, of this kid, I'd. If I was the E7 in charge of this group of people, heads would be rolling. The Ravens beating the Bills. Uh, I don't think you guys have really had a good record against the Bills. T Tennessee making it okay to run over protesters blocking roads. Interesting. Now, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Because you can still get sued for a wrongful death, right? Legally, you might be okay. Civilly is another story. There's a difference between whether or not you can legally do something and whether or not somebody can sue you civilly for damages. So, just because doesn't mean you just be can. Army Fat Camp. I think it's awesome. By the way, Army Fat Camp. Let's look it up. So, here's the deal. U.S. Army Fat Camp. All this is... I don't know why anybody would get upset about it. If anybody that doesn't like it or is just like, we're just hitting up for scrape on the bottom of the barrel. Here's the deal. We did the Army Fat Camp years ago. Years ago. In fact, I think that it was in like one of the Dakotas. And it got shut down for a while. And basically, it is what this is now. If you did not score well on your ASVABs, if you took, if you're a really bad test taker and you didn't finish high school, you could get your GED there or high school diploma there. You could also take the ASVAB. Your your military service exam that tells you, you know, like what you might be good at, what and your overall score from that tells you, or at least the military, it's a it says this person scored this high, which means they can do these level of tasks competently, potentially. It's a slippery road. You know, if you got a guy that's really good with his hands and a horrible test taker, you know, you're screwed, like, which is unfortunate. I wish there was ways around it. I hope there are. I'm not sure what they are so that good qualified people can get to the jobs that they want to get to. Anywho, that's besides the point. So they help you graduate high school, get a GED. They help you get your ASVAB score up so that you can, you're not an ASVAB waiver. You have to score a minimum. 
And then also, big thing, a lot of these kids nowadays are fat. They haven't done a bunch of physical activity. They'll sit and they'll watch football with their dads, but then they'll go play video games for 30 hours or watch YouTube videos all day. And listen, from a guy that watches YouTube videos all day, because I love it, I get it. But I also have to get off my fat ass and go lift something heavy. If I want to eat all the food that I want to eat, and I want to sit on my ass as much as I want to sit on my ass and watch YouTube videos, etc., do this. I need to get up and start moving so that I don't become some lackadaisical slob that's got bad knees and ankles by the time I'm, you know, 35. And I got osteo per fat ass, right? Armory Knight, if you're fat, just fix yourself. Get less fat. There you go. You're welcome. Back to the story of, you know, fat camp, fat camp for the army. They did it a while ago. And then we're hurting for folks right now because, well... Just so happens that, you know, the COVID-19 thing really pissed everybody off. For some reason, Trump, as controversial as he was, military numbers were doing well. And then the next administration, current administration came in. Then, well, that all of a sudden, that's a new problem that we've been having. So, wah, wah, they brought it back. Now, I don't think it should have ever left. I think if you want to be a U.S. Army soldier and you just happen to have, you know, low scores, whatever. And there's going to be the people who are stupid that are, are going to say, you're just, you know, we the uh, U.S. Army just gets the poor and they get the dumb and they take advantage and they fight for, like, rich men's oil, man. Okay, idiot. The best way to get out of poverty is to have a job, right? And although the United States military may not pay the highest for the lower enlisted, right? It doesn't pay exceptionally high. You get free food. Well, you get extremely cheap food if you want to eat at the, at the dining facilities. Like, very reasonably priced food i'm talking like i think it's like 12 or 15 bucks a day breakfast is like three dollars i shit you not and you can get all the biscuits and fucking gravy you want you could be i shit you could be a pro bodybuilder and stuff your face with seconds and thirds at at breakfast in the united states military at least on u.s army posts u.s army posts breakfasts are the shit Love them. Biscuits and gravy. So freaking good. And the omelet station? Oh my gosh. You can get like, you can get an omelet and you can get like 30 hard boiled eggs and shove them in your pockets and go eat them throughout the day. Pick them. I don't give a fuck. So anyway, so, so your cost of living is cheap because the food is not given to you, but extremely cheap. And then you're living in the barracks. And guess what? Here's the deal. Sometimes the barracks suck. Sometimes people don't take care of them. Sometimes those people are the soldiers, and sometimes those people are the higher-ups that don't hold people accountable, meaning mainly themselves. If something's broke and they call for help, like if the soldier th sees that something's broke in the barracks, they call for help, and those people that are supposed to be helping them you know, all across the, that post don't help them, well then, hey, that's your job as a leader to make sure that shit gets done. So... Wait, it was free in 2005. What happened? I never had anything for free unless you were on deployment. If well, uh, It was free if you were active guard or or if you were guard or reserve going to a military post because then deals were included. So still kind of free, but it's just in your pay guy. It's not, they're not actually free. Somebody's paying for them, but you'll get stipend for your food stipend. So, so and the benefits, you got healthcare, you can get a free education. And I'm not talking about your army education, yeah, you sure you can learn a task and stuff like that. But I'm talking about you can further your education, like collegiate education and hands-on training. You want to learn how to fix cars? They got shit for that. You want to learn how to work on computers? They got shit for that. Now it's difficult to put all these things in a schedule and do them consistently. That's difficult, but whatever, it's worth it. You're bettering yourself. Fucking do it. So, I love it. Uh, anybody that picked on it or thought that we were scraping the bottom of the barrel, I can understand why it's a funny thing. I get it. Like, I, I under, it's funny. Yeah, let me get we're getting all these fat kids. I get it. But it's it's a phenomenal. It's 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 absolutely phenomenal. You got some kid that's struggling that wants to better himself. Oh my god, there's a video on here. I almost cried. There's uh some female that's like I'm fat and I'm trying, but like I have to provide for my family. And this is one of the only things I've wanted to do and I can give back to the community. She's everything that a positive mind, she's, every, she's the positive mindset that you want in a trainee. To want, they, they desperately want to better themselves. And they're like, I think the military can do it. And I want that troop. I fucking want that troop. Because we'll make you less fat. Sarah, Janelle, whatever her name was, we'll make you less fat. 
Fuck yeah. You just keep that positive mindset and that super high level motivation and you will fucking succeed. So yeah, that's why I love I love the fact here, even though people pick on it. The Alamo. Remember it. Task and Purpose just posted a video of a Chinese Merc squad going to Ukraine. Oh yeah, I saw that. It did not go well. And then the Chinese's man, like a, a little while in there, was like making videos back home and saying, they don't give us any medical attention and I'm sick as shit and I've got ulcers in my throat and they're just refusing to give us medical aid. I'm like, ah, oh, well, it sucks to suck, China. What's my favorite dinosaur? Stegosaurus. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I thought it was cool. It's like, not that fast, but he's got massive plates on his back and a tail that is literally just up four swords, just stabbing shit over and over again. I thought that was, I thought the Stegosaurus was cool. Plus, I thought that everybody liking the T-Rex or like a raptor was just so overdone. I was like, ah, come on. Plus, I thought Spike in The Land Before Time was cool. I thought he was great. TNA. I support it. Oh, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin abandoning his post with the next in line on vacay. So, yeah, I saw that. This, the current Secretary of Defense got a medical procedure done and then didn't notify... Uh, what was it? The Secretary of State? Or anyway, they, he didn't notify the chain of command so for like five days until they figured it out uh there the there was nobody filling the secretary of defense's job now that being said i'm sure there's an assistant to the secretary of defense like the next guy in charge that he directly talks to and he says hey listen i'm on this thing and it just didn't get passed up higher because i know congress is supposed to know because in case something happens to him you know congress needs to know and then they got to go through their hullabaloo well congress didn't know and then congress got upset I mean, rightfully so, right? Oh, not in regs. That's right. Not in regs wants me to do, to talk about two Marines caught butt loving each other in, uh, in Korea. I think it was in Korea. Where are, where's Instagram? Not regs. Where is it? All right, I know he sent it to me. He wanted me to talk about it, and I'll absolutely talk about it. Boom. Whose Marines slash sailors are these? <laughs> Thanks, Obama. I don't know. It's got number seven on it. I don't know where this is. Where do you say it was? Doing the ink. What's Kintown? Is Kintown is Kintown in the states? Is it not Koreatown? Did he say he said Kin? What does K I N mean? Hey, Marines, what the hell is Kintown? Triceratops, nice. That's a good call. I'm really hoping my chat didn't freeze right now. Yeah, Okinawa. Okay, Kintown. Yeah, so Japan. I thought so. I thought it was either Korea or Japan. Kinawa. Oh, Kinawa. Got it. Yeah, brother's got him bent over. I can't. Gosh, I can't see. It's just so. And it's so blurry. I mean, I don't want to see it. Hey, listen here. Sailors, soldiers, Marines. Doesn't matter who you love. As long as you want to serve. But as a heads up. 
Maybe you don't bone your battle buddy in the booty in the middle of some back alley in East Bumfuck, a.k.a. Okinawa. Yeah, don't enhance. Yeah, I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to keep it blurry. And as much as if it's... If it's two fellas, could be the Navy. Just saying. Greg asks, how do I feel about Vivek Ramaswamy and how do I feel about Vivek dropping out of the race? I liked listening to him. He had interesting things to say. I like that he didn't take the bait from weird political pundits, kind of like Ron DeSantis used to be like during COVID when he was just a governor and not running. Ooh, let's talk political for a second. Isn't it funny how, like, I don't know if I'm, if it's just like my thing or whatever. I haven't heard Ron DeSantis say shit. And I think part of his political strategy, I mean, it's not really politics. It's more of just strategy, political strategy. I think Ron DeSantis' political strategy to win the presidential nomination is to just shut up, let everybody scream at each other. He nods his head and doesn't say anything controversial. He hasn't. And then, at, and then everybody fades away. Vivek doesn't have the numbers. Uh, that lady who wants to go to war with Russia, which I'm not a fan of. She's got like, but well, she's at like 14% approval. DeSantis is at 20 and then Trump's at like 57%. Something ridiculous. And the Iowa State Caucus. Yeah, Nikki Haley. Not a fan. Not a fan. I, I just don't like, like I've, I've already been to Iraq. I already did a war for somebody else. As much as like, as much as I enjoy Ukraine having its independence, and I think it should. It's not like we can send them money, so that we don't send them people. And even then, I'm tired of sending them money. Like just fuck. Here's my overall sentiment, right? If we're gonna send people money, I'd like us to spend money on ourselves. And here's the caveat to that. We're also spending money super stupidly. Stupidly? Is that a word? We, we're, we're extremely wasteful in our spending. And uh, what's his name? Uh, who's like the libertarian guy? With the curly hair. He got beat up or he got shot by his neighbor. Um, and then he also like did the... He was like against no-knock warrants. Oh, his name's like Ron too, but it's not DeSantis. Rand Paul, thank you. Yeah, Rand Paul. Um, he, when he was, I don't know if he was running before, but he made some really valid points a couple of years ago where there was like like 200 million in spending and he named like a couple things like uh, trans and queer teaching to Afghanistan children. So it was something like like exploring like the poetry of, uh, of queer poets in Afghanistan. It was literally something like that. I'm like, why are we spending $20 million on that? Like, listen, it's great that we're learning. We're opening up the world to different ways of thinking. Go democracy. What the fuck does poetry have to do with rebuilding a country? Let them decide what they want to teach. They could spend their money on what they want to spend it on. We'll assist with some infrastructure. We'll make sure they don't waste it. Sweet. But there's so much frivolous spending in the United States. It's ridiculous. We... Honest to God, this is going to sound really weird. I don't know if it's true or not. This is just me being an asshole. With the amount of money that we we spend ridiculously, I'm sure we could have universal health care at like like the, a weird minimum, like a like a like a like a taste of universal health care for some people if we just stopped spending it on stupid stupid shit. I'm also very pro uh nuclear power. I side with Elon Musk on that. It's extremely safe. Meltdowns don't happen as long as you're doing the right things. And you get ridiculous amounts of power. The only fallout is the leftovers, which you can take care of. I mean, shit, we're taking depleted uranium and lighting up the Houthis with it. 
that's my that's all my pot that's like not all my politics that's my very generalized thing on some ways of thinking and honestly you could talk me out of some of my stuff that i've said just because i say it out loud doesn't mean that i can't be persuaded with more information RuPaul said, somebody goes, not Rand Paul, RuPaul. <laughs> RuPaul is one of the greatest representatives this United States government has ever had. Could you imagine Rand, RuPaul, RuPaul, like just walking up and down the Senate being like, listen, sisters, we need, we need to flex. We need to walk on Vladimir Putin. We need to do this. Let's be fierce. Oh my God. No, I know Vivek dropped out of the race. I know Vivek dropped out of the race. He he supported Trump, which I think was like the plan all along. Like he like he was a long shot. He charismatic. He had some good ideas. I like the fact that he's a businessman. I like that he's a straight shooter. He had nothing to lose by spouting off all of his and any of his beliefs. But I I like from the beginning I was like this guy's just. I mean, if he's not immediately going to capture the American audience, and with Trump running, he he wasn't going to catch the Republican side. I don't believe. Then, like, okay, so you're running for number two. Everybody's running for number two right now. I don't see how Trump wouldn't be the full runner for the Republican Party or doing a third party thing, you know, like, um, like, like Theodore Roosevelt did the Bull Moose Party. He butted heads with so many Republicans. He's like, cool, screw you. I'm gonna do the Bull Moose Party, and then ran on the Bull Moose Party. I think he, I'm not sure if he won that one or lost that one. Oh, Kevin, before we leave, Kevin has a has something and I have a funny story about it. This will be, I'll end on this. I'll end on my political spiel right now on this. Kevin says, we need to repeal child labor restrictions. Child, children have too much time to sit on their hands and be sad about having, about having a peen or a J. <laughs> this wasn't a problem when they worked in the factories. There is a hilarious comedian that has a great line. And I'm going to see if I can find it because I want him to do it. Oh, shit. How do I? Okay. Let's see. Is it mine's? Oh, I'm not going to be able to find it. All right, maybe I just have to do normal Google. All right, that's not it. All right, so what all these people are, they're stealing it from a comedian, basically. Anybody that says any different is absolutely wrong. This is, so this is a comedian stand-up, and I wish I knew who it was because it was hysterical. And his bit was, you know, years ago, we had child labor laws, and they got restricted. You know, children were in the mines digging coal and being badasses. They were our grandfathers in the black lung. And then child labor laws came around, and now children have nothing to do except they're playing video games now. But what video games are they playing? They're playing Minecraft where you dig holes in the earth and you dig for beautiful jewels. The children yearn for the mines. We must bring back child work programs and have child labor back again because the children yearn for it. They yearn for the mines. And he's far more funny than me and he's got far better delivery because he made the joke himself. And he sets it all up and it's like a minute long and it's absolutely hysterical. And whenever I say the children yearn for the mines, it's that shit. Nick says the dog pounds Ryan with the Bills Mafia for the rest of the playoffs. Side note, an OSU student or ROTC can't do push-ups. Can you teach them? Columbus isn't far from Buffalo after all. It's true. That's true. Yeah, what, we're the only other Lake Erie team, aren't we? No, Detroit. Detroit's the other Lake Erie, Erie team. It was us, the Browns, and Detroit are in the playoffs for the first time ever. All the Lake Erie teams. And the Browns got knocked out. 
in tremendous fashion. And I didn't see them getting spanked like that, but they were. And Detroit's, what, number one? I think they're number one. They had the last... No, they were in like number two or three because they had to play the Rams. All right. Weirdos. Best way to support the channel. Go to angry-cops.com. I'll leave it in the description below. Buy yourself a shirt. Unfortunately, the hoodies are sold out. But we still got cool shirts and stickers and mugs. The E4 Mafia is around and so is Death Before Dishonor. And of course, if you know somebody that's done a good job, get them a POB. Let them know you noticed them. They deserve a pat on the back. So on that note, I'll see you next time, weirdos.